In the Weekend Review from the Ingram Angle segment tonight, we continue our coverage of the presidential press conference today. Joining us now from Washington is Ms. Laura Ingram. So, you heard uh, Major and Carl and me bloviate all about it. What would you give? What grade on that press conference? What grade would you give the president? Well, I'm going to give him a grade on the entire crisis bill because I think that's the relevant thing. I mean, what's happened uh, over the last five weeks uh, matters a lot more than what happened today. But look, he, he wanted to come out and look like he was, he, he was angry and frustrated. Uh, well, I should hope so. So I'll give him a D plus to be charitable. Uh, I, I, I'd prefer to give him an F, but, you know, I think you, you want to give people the benefit of the doubt on this show, so I'll give him a D plus. Now, you're look, giving him a D plus for not reacting quicker? Bill, Bill, we, we heard from him today the following, that his daughter, uh, daughters when he's shaving says, Daddy, have you plugged the hole yet? Right. We heard from him that, you know, he, uh, this is why I don't do drill, baby, drill, sideswipe at Palin. You know, he was doing so much of his own environmental cleanup for his own PR and his own uh, reputation and, and dispersing all of these, <laughs> these chemicals of his own to try to, uh, you know, put, push past the, the public disapproval. That, you know, the, mm -hmm. But by the end of it, it was like, what, what are the results what what exactly are you doing why haven't you approved Bobby Jindal's request to uh, give those permits for these berms that is something for two weeks that has been uh, lingering out there and the administration agreed to one small section of these berms that to me in the no spin zone that to me is not leadership that's like you know consulting that's not leadership this right, is not a thursday his, night seminar at harvard he says that all of these things you know the berms and the cleanups and uh bringing the other booms the booms the berms all that stuff that yeah. it takes number one time number two there's got to be environmental impact studies on it environmental um, impact that's studies. what he says so, this is the no spin zone the environmental impact in Louisiana, in Mississippi, in Alabama, the entire Gulf Coast could be the worst thing the whole world has ever seen as an environmental okay. disaster. And we're worried about environmental I'm impacts. I'm not worried. I, I mean, I want to. I want to bring relief to the Gulf states uh, as much as anybody Bill, does. Bill, tonight, to this morning, when he said he didn't, he couldn't reach Salazar. You know, he was testifying, so he couldn't find out. You know, what was the story behind the firing of, or but the resignation of the MF, MMS director? Well, guess what he was doing this morning. He was meeting with the Duke basketball team. Now, I love basketball, and Duke is a great team. But when you have this unfolding in the Gulf, it's time to stop the fundraising okay, for Barbara Boxer. Okay, but Garrett and Cameron and start... don't believe that. They believe that he, knew, of, he knows perfectly well why the burn bomb was fired. It, it did not pass the straight face test. Okay. That's not leadership. Leadership is, you better believe we fired somebody, and I'm going to fire anyone else who didn't do his or her job outside, according to my guidelines. Outside of not giving Governor Jindal uh, the equipment that he needs or says he needs, um, is there anything else that Obama could? You, you saw Carville yesterday go wild, sure. right? James Carville yeah. on steroids. Oh, it's frightening. Yeah, well, well it's not. <laughs> We're it's right not just James, though, Bill. It's thousands of people. I, I've interviewed uh, fishing expedition companies. I've interviewed people okay, down but, in the but Gulf get on my very radio specific show. here. What else w could Obama have done in the last five weeks that he didn't do? Last week, the Louisiana asked for uh, more boats and more equipment. As far as I can tell, and reports today, they still haven't gotten an answer to that request. So they had to commandeer private boats to try to do some of the work for, you know, pre preventing the mass disaster there. That's the kind of stuff that does not speak to leadership. And I'm not speaking as a conservative. I'm speaking as someone who, uh, my heart is breaking for the people in the Gulf Coast. They need leadership. Enough with this, this politics from Obama today. It, it, it was embarrassing. Last and my question. daughter and daddy plugged the hole. I mean, that is just, that's ridiculous. All right, uh, last question. Is there any parallel between Katrina's response and the oil spills response. Do you see any historical parallel? Yeah, this is a lot worse. I think this is going to be a lot worse for the Gulf Coast. I think the effects could last for decades and decades. And President Bush, as far as I can tell, the federal government was on site w within a couple of days. This is federal territory in deep waters. This isn't state and local. This is federal territory. Took nine days to call this an issue of national significance. It's a lot worse in my mind right now uh, than Katrina was. And that is a sad commentary on where we are. All right, Lauren. Thanks very much. We appreciate